This is a basic guide to setting up a sync folder on a Windows based PC to sync photos from your PC to your iPad or iPhone. This will also allow you to create albums on your iPad or iPhone. The first step is to create a folder to sync. While you can create this folder anywhere on your computer and name it anything you'd like, I'd suggest you put it in the My Pictures folder. So if you go to the Start menu and then Pictures and create the folder in here, so you can name it anything you like, but I would suggest something similar to iPad Photos. <clears throat> you can set this up to sync the entire My Pictures folder. The downside with that is that it will sync everything. Personally, I like having a smaller selection of photos on my iPad or iPhone. This method will also allow you to create two separate um, albums for your devices, so one for your iPad, one for your iPhone, and you'll sync, you can sync them up individually to each device. Now that you've created the folder, just minimize that window, have iTunes open in the background. Um, as iTunes takes a while to open up on a Windows-based PC, I've already done that. Have your device connected via USB already, and you should have your iPad or iPhone shown up in your Devices tab just here on the left. If you go into this, it'll bring up your summary screen, and then if you go over to here, you have the little Photos tab. This is where you select which folder you want to sync up. So you tick the box, Sync Photos From, <clears throat> then from the drop down the list, it's already selected the My Pictures folder, which if you want to select everything, you can. I personally would rather go Choose Folder, and then iPad Photos. Select that folder, then click Apply down the bottom. Because I've already got my iPad synced with another computer, it's asking if I really want to do this and sync with this computer instead. The photo albums on my iPad will be replaced with photos and albums from this computer. In this case, yes, I do want to do this, so replace photos. Then it will start going through the sync procedure. If you switch back to your pictures folder and go into your iPad photos, you'll notice it's created a little cache of um, photo database for the iPad. Just ignore that, leave that be. Now to create albums, what you can do is just right click and create new folders and name them anything you'd like. So we have holiday 2012, another one called animals, and if I drag a couple of pictures in there from the Microsoft sample photos, so a few of these over to here, those over, and I'll leave the tulips in the main folder, close that one down, go back to your iTunes and just click sync. What that will now do is transfer those pictures in those albums over to your iPad. It's exactly the same procedure with an iPhone. The device will say Dario's iPhone as opposed to iPad and you go through the same procedure, select whatever folder you want to link up. For me personally, it's best if I have different folders, different folders set up on different devices and then you can have different selections of items. If you just want to have one folder across the whole thing, it's easy enough to do. Just select the My Pictures folder and get all your devices to sync up to that one. And this is just to show that the photos have synced across. So if we open up Photos, there we have. Save photos, the photos that were saved on the iPad originally, so any photos you've downloaded or screenshots you've saved will still be in there. And there are your two albums, Animals and Holiday 2012. Open up those. And there we go. And there's the tulips photo that was from just the iPad folder itself.